History's Headlines has the sad tale of the Easton flirt. It's a story that caught the attention of an author who was no stranger to scandal herself. Gilda, are you decent? From Rita. Me. To Lauren. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? To Lana. You drop this? Old Hollywood loved a femme fatale. But if you believe a story penned by author Elizabeth Ellett in 1852, the city of Easton didn't take too kindly to a similar kind of woman who moved into the neighborhood years before in the 1770s. This upset all the good housewives of Easton, and they didn't know how to deal with it. Apparently, the women thought the newcomer, identified in Ellett's story as a Mrs. Winton, was a little too friendly with the men in town. According to the story, one night they had housewives decided to act. So what they did was they lured this young woman out of her home and grabbed her and took her to a local pond. They took turns holding her under the water. By the next morning, the fate of a flirt of the olden time was sealed. Mrs. Winton was no more. According to Ellett's story, her killers were never punished. But thanks to Ellett, her tale of woe gained traction. This story appeared and then it was popular among local historians to reprint the story. Perhaps Ellett felt compelled to share the woman's story because she sympathized with her. By the time Ellett visited Easton in 1851, she was fresh off a scandal of her own involving fellow author Edgar Allan Poe. She wanted to have an affair with him. He wasn't interested, but uh, she wrote him some rather passionate love letters. Apparently, Ellett didn't take the rejection well. She helped spread rumors that Poe was insane and reportedly harassed his wife, Virginia. Nevertheless, her literary career thrived. She was the first writer to record the lives of women who had made significant contributions during the American Revolution. And when she died in 1877, it was not at the hands of an angry mob of housewives like poor Mrs. Winton.